Hello friends, this video on quadrilaterals part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take one more activity. Let's draw a few parallelograms and you'll observe that the opposite angles are equal. This angle is equal to this angle. This angle is equal to this angle. So in this also we'll observe that these two angles are equal and these two angles are equal. Here also you'll observe that these two angles are equal. So if you name this A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. So in this angle A will be equal to angle C, angle B will be equal to angle D, and this angle E is equal to angle G, angle F will be equal to angle H, and this angle L will be equal to angle J, angle I will be equal to angle K. This is observation. You can take a piece of paper and draw different parallelograms and you will observe that the opposite angles are equal. Okay, this is an activity. So to prove this, let's prove this. This is a theorem actually. Okay, to prove this, what we can do is, it's pretty easy actually, we have actually done this. So we can prove that these two triangles are congruent. If these two triangles are congruent, this angle will be equal to this angle. And we have proved that. Right? So we have proved that the angle, uh, let's give the name. So, E, B, M, B, D, D, B, A, and B, B, C. Right? So we have proved that these two triangles are congruent. If that is the case, this angle has to be equal to this angle, right? So opposite angles are equal. Similarly, you can draw other diagonal from here. This is the parallelogram. We can draw another diagonal from here. So this diagonal will also actually, sorry, I had to draw this diagonal. Right? You can draw this diagonal. So this diagonal will also divide this parallelogram into two congruent triangles, this triangle and this triangle, and this triangle also, this angle will be equal to this angle. Correct? Pretty easy theorem, you can try on your own to prove not difficult. So a diagonal divides a triangle into a parallelogram into two different triangles. So diagonal BD will, will divide this parallelogram into this triangle and this triangle, and here angle E will be equal to angle C. Similarly, diagonal AC will divide this parallelogram into this triangle and this triangle where angle B will be equal to angle D. Thus, angle B is equal to angle D and angle A is equal to angle C. That is, opposite angles are equal in a parallelogram. Okay. Let's see one more activity, the converse. The converse that is, if, if in a quadrilateral, the each pair of opposite angle is equal, then it is a quadrilateral. It is a parallelogram. So it is any quadrilateral if opposite pairs are equal, then it is a parallelogram. This is the converse of what we have seen. So you can try that. You can draw parallel. Uh, you can draw quadrilaterals. Draw quadrilaterals such that opposite angles are equal. And you will know that all these quadrilaterals will be a parallelogram. Take a piece of paper and pen or pencil, scale and protector and draw various quadrilaterals such that opposite angles are equal and you will note that all these quadrilaterals are parallelogram. Okay. And let's try to prove this. Same activity we just did. That if in a quadrilateral the opposite angles are equal then it is a parallelogram. So let's try to prove this. So let's assume that uh, this angle is angle 1, this 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. To prove this to be a parallelogram, we have to prove that angle 3 is equal to angle 2. Angle 2 is equal Sorry, 1, 2, 
is 3, this is 4. 4 is equal to 2 and 3 is equal to 5. One pair and yeah. If you prove this, that means 3 is equal to 5. This side is parallel to this side. Let me give the name to this A, B, C, D. So if 3 is equal to 5, then uh, AD is parallel to BC. And if 2 is equal to 4, DC is parallel to AB. We have to prove these angles are equal. So what is given? Angle 6 is equal to angle 1. That is given. And angle 3 plus angle 4 is equal to angle 2 plus angle 5. That is given. Right? And we have to prove that. To prove angle 3 is equal to angle 5 and angle 4 is equal to angle 2. So if you prove this, we can prove that it is parallelogram. I'm just doing a rough calculation here. So to do this, we have to prove that these two triangles are congruent. This is B, D, and D, B. Right? So this is a and this is C. Yeah. A B D A B D and C D B. Yeah. Correct. So what is angle A is 1, angle C is 6. That is given. Correct. Now if you see angle 3 plus 4 is equal to angle 2 plus 5. Also, we know that since angle angle 1 is equal to angle 6 given. So 180 degree minus angle 1 will be equal to 180 degree minus angle 6. Correct. So 180 degree minus angle 1 is nothing but angle 2 plus angle 3. Because angle 2 plus angle 3 plus angle 1 is 180 degree. So angle 180 degree minus 1 is nothing but angle 2 plus angle 3. Similarly 180 degree minus angle 6 is nothing but angle 2 plus angle 4. This is equation 1, this is equation 2. So if you subtract equation 1 from equation 2, so let me write this equation here. Angle 3 plus angle 4 is equal to angle 2 plus angle 5. That is equation 1. So if you subtract, what you get is angle 2 minus angle 4 is nothing but, uh, this gets cancelled, angle 2 plus 3 is equal to 4 plus 5. So this is 4. Plus 5 plus 5. So this four will cancel. Okay. So 4 plus 5. So this gets cancelled. So this becomes angle 4 minus angle 2. So if you solve this, 2 times of angle 2 is equal to 2 times of angle 4. Or angle 2 is equal to angle 4. Angle 2 is equal to angle 4 is what? This A, B, D, A, B, D, this angle, this angle 2, and angle 4 is what? D, B, C, D, B, D, sorry, C, D, B, C, D, B, this angle. Now, if you see, in these two triangles, one side is common and two angles are common, right? So, they are congruent, okay? So if the, this side is equal to this angle is equal to this angle, this angle is equal to this angle, this angle will also be equal to this angle. So, so all the three angles are same, respective angles same, and one side is also same. So they are congruent. Since they are congruent, I can say that since angle 2 is equal to angle 4, these lines are parallel. Similarly, since angle 3 is equal to angle 5, these lines are parallel. Or you don't even need to prove congruency. Now, since you have proved angle 2 is equal to angle 4, and angle 1 is equal to angle 6, by default, you can prove that angle 3 is equal to angle 5. There are so many ways of proving it. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.